In this video, we'll focus more on the reducing balance method when we want to calculate depreciation. So depreciation is the loss of the value of an asset over a period of time. So let's get into the formula of the reducing balance method. So we have your depreciation is equal to your cost the cost of the asset less its accumulated depreciation less the savage value if any multiplied by the percentage so let's get into this so anthony bought a new delivery vehicle worth 80000 for his restaurant $80,000 and it is estimated that the assets used for life so it will be used for three years and we are given a rate of 30% so it's for three years so we need to calculate depreciation so let's start with the first year we have your 80,000 we don't have accumulated depreciation this is the first year so it's always going to be your cost 80,000 minus your percentage and we're given it's 30,000 so then you take your calculator what is 80,000 multiplied by your 30,000 and this is your depreciation for your first year 24,000 dollars now for your second year we say it's your cost minus your accumulated depreciation so it's your depreciation for the previous years all together so we only have for one year so it's your 80,000 minus your 24,000 times your rate 30 percent so your 80,000 Minus your 24,000, that give, gives us 56,000. Multiplied by your 30%, and we have 16,800. So this is how you calculate your depreciation. And in your third year, it's the same. Your 80,000 minus your accumulated depreciation. So we have two. We have your 24,000, and we have your 16,800. times your 30 percent and that will give us so we say eighty thousand minus your accumulated depreciation times your 30 percent and it's seventeen thousand six seven seven eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty so if you add all of this you'll notice there's a pattern so your first year will be the highest that's why it says reducing because it's your depreciation will be the most high in the first year then it will become less and less and less now what is your net book value after all these years so your net value or your net book value so this is what you will state the asset as in your financial statements you will not place it at its original price but as it at its present value so we have your 80,000 minus your 24,000, 16,800 and your 11,760. And this will be our present net value after all these years. And we have 27,440 after three years. So how do we calculate depreciation? So for each and every year, we will always debit your depreciation account. So if we take year one, for example, so we will debit depreciation with 24,000 and we will credit accumulated depreciation. with 24,000 and that's it so please comment if you'd like to know more and 
subscribe so you do not miss out other videos thank you